a bit of an addiction. My grandmother had it and all her sisters and brothers. I think my parents wanted me to grow out of it, but I never did. Uh, horses are so, are so spiritual. You can, you can read their soul and that's very important because it comes across in your images and you, you know, then you know the exact moment when they look their best. When I was seven, I borrowed mum's camera for the day, a little old Minolta film camera, and she said I could only take two photos, and I took this one photograph of a mare and a foal running in a paddock together. The mare on an extended trot and the foal just in front at an outstretched gallop and a perfect photo. I'd go into a dark room and it was like a time warp. I'd lose time, I'd be there for 11 hours and I'd forgotten to eat or drink anything, and I thought, wow, I found my niche. I left uni and was picked up by a newspaper and started my cadetship as a press photographer. Did a lot of horse racing photography, photographed celebrities. I, I had a book published called High on Horses um, and it became an Australian bestseller and it was a culmination of 10 years of my best work as a photographer. It's not just setting up lights and composition, it's also getting that feeling and that emotion across. And you have to really be able to connect with your subject on that. So if it's a horse, you have to really know them intimately on an emotional level. When I was a child, I was horse mad. I was also um, drawn to images and a very visual person. So I loved painting and drawing and in fact spent pretty much all my time as a child drawing. Hi girls! Annie is feeling it today. And even now if I have a concept for a photo I want to shoot, I will scribble it in my sketchbook. Maybe one at a time, say, so I can do each one of you one at a time. And try and, you know, capture exactly that when I look through the viewfinder. Oh, you can preview, you can see what it's shooting far out. I might go up to 60. So does that mean I do it again? So today I was shooting my daughter Tilly and her friend with the X-T3. It's fantastic to use, it's lightweight, very comfortable, very user friendly, you don't even really notice it's there. Super fast, super fast motor drive and the live view is amazing. You can shoot slow shutter, 15th of a second, you can instantly see what effect you're getting with the background streaking. And that combined with the 400 point focus system, without a doubt, just superior results. The X-T3 really did it for me. I, I had it in the bag and I knew I had it in the bag while I was shooting. <laughs>